Good evening Hackology and welcome to tonight's episode. In tonight's video we're going to be looking at Conkey. And Conkey is a lightweight system monitor for Linux or BSD. And basically it works under X. So running Genome, this will run on your desktop. Basically what Conkey does is displays loads of really useful information to your desktop monitor. So Conkey is available on SourceForge and you can download the code from there but I suggest you don't do that. What I suggest you do is find a repository with Conkey pre-compiled for your distribution of Linux. Search If you're running Debian, what I did was I did a search for Conkey and I found the repository. Then I found the i386 address for the repository. I added that to my sources list by sudo nano etsy at sources.list. I then added the line deb http ftp uk debian org debian squeeze main contrib which is down at the bottom you can see. So add that line to your apt sources list. Once you've done that, save the file. Make sure that you sudo into this file because it won't let you save if you don't. Then you will need to run sudo apt-get update. Update all the sources. You might get something that tells you you've got duplications. Don't worry about that. Then run sudo apt-get install conkey. This will install conkey on your system. You should have a screen that looks something like that after you've run it. And then you'll need to in your home directory nano dot conky rc and in here we're going to put some good stuff so basically if you want to make your own conky config you can go to the conky website and you can read through all the documentation and make your own from scratch or you can do a google and have a look on the internet for some um, themes i will include the person's theme um, the name of the person's theme that I modified to make the Hackology theme. So um, anyway, in this file you can go through and you can edit various different lines to change how or what it writes to the screen. And it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward, just use the documentation and find some examples online and you'll be fine. So save that file and then we're going to run Conkey. So if we just do conky amsand and, and send it to the um, background, you'll be able to see that conky is running on the desktop and looks awesome. Um, that's actually my configuration file. I had to play about with it a little bit to get the right position on the screen. But after a, a little bit of messing about and playing about, I got it, got it, got it down quite nice. Went through, changed the colours, altered the um, settings to match my computer. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it now. So. You've installed Conkey, you've got it on your computer. Now what you need to do is if you want it to boot with Debian every time it loads, you'll need to create a startup file. So I went into my whole home so I went into my home directory and I nano start .sh. So um, I make a script called start .sh, and inside this script you're gonna to want to put um Crunch bang, so you want in British speak pound symbol exclamation mark forward stroke bin forward stroke bash sleep space 10 amsand amsand on the next line. This will tell the script to sleep for 10 seconds before it attempts to boot conkey and then conkey space dash c to tell it which config file to use and then we just specify the home directory dot conkey rc and end it with a semicolon. Um, I don't, uh, yeah. I don't think it's important that you pipe it to the background. I just think it's important that you call the file in the script and it runs. Uh, so then, once you've made that script executable by running sudo chmod plus x start .sh, you can go into the Debian system preferences and add a startup program for Conkey. 
and just point the uh, command to the uh, location of your script. Save that, log out of Debian and log back in and check that everything loads. Now, if successful you should have Comkey installed and that's brilliant. Uh, when I first did this I had a problem that I was clicking on the desktop and Conkey just kept disappearing and kept it looked like it was crashing but it wasn't um, so what I had to do was go into the Conkey RC script and edit the variable that said own underscore window type and it was set to desktop and instead of setting it to desktop I now have it set to normal and wherever I click on the desktop it doesn't affect the uh, Conkey loading up when Debian starts. So, you've been watching Hackology, that's been Conkey, some really cool desktop modification tool. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, we'll be back really soon and as always, have fun hacking. <laughs>